Welcome to this week's Decision Desk HQ 2022 election forecasting model, where we use our proprietary model to forecast the outcome this November of every single seat in the House and the Senate. And of course, which party is going to win the majority in both the big question on everyone's mind. It has been a huge week for the GOP across the board. I'm Dr. Liberty Vittert, Professor of Data Science, and let's dive into this week's model. If you've been following our video updates, then you know that for most of the campaign, our model has shown the Democrats with an edge in holding control of a tied Senate after next week's elections. However, in the last few days, we've seen a number of very good polls at both the race level and at the national generic ballot level that now give the Republicans a real edge in having at least a one-seat majority starting in January, which is a big change. We are currently forecasting the GOP as having 51 seats to just 49 for the Democrats. Now, this is only with a 51% probability, so that's obviously still a toss-up, but the data definitely points to the momentum for the GOP in the closing days of the campaign with Election Day on November 8th. Georgia is moving back into the toss-up category, joining both Nevada and Pennsylvania from last week. In Pennsylvania, we've seen three polls in the last week showing Republican Dr. Maimon Oz in the lead. That's after seeing only one poll all year that showed him in the lead. Now, all of these polls were conducted after last week's debate between Oz and Democrat John Fetterman. So you can make uh, your own conclusion about how the debate affected Fetterman's outcome. So one race we haven't talked about this year until now is Washington. And the reason for that is pretty simple. Patty Murray is a longtime incumbent in a state that is considered pretty reliably blue. That said, giving the national generic ballot moving closer to Republican plus 2% and a spate of polling showing Murray's Republican opponent, Tiffany Smiley, closer than you might expect, this race inches just below the solid D into the likely D category. Now, even with all of that and the last minute spending by Democrats and their aligned groups, we still say Murray has a greater than 90% chance of winning. But with all of that late money being spent on the race and a DDHQ polling average of just Democrat plus four. It's a race to watch over the last week and into election day for an indication of what the national mood really is going to be. And as we noted back in our July on our forecast page for this race, we said, quote, this seat could become competitive if 2022 ends up being a wave year for Republicans. Let's move over to the House. In the House, we give the GOP an 80% chance of winning a majority after all of next week's votes are counted. Our mean seat projection is 231 Republicans and 204 Democrats. We have 19 seats in the toss-up category this week. As you're watching the results come in next week, one toss-up seat to keep a real eye on is Virginia 2. Democratic Congresswoman Elaine Lewis Gloria currently represents the district in the southeastern corner of the state and is being challenged by Republican Jen Kagans. So the state closes at 7 Eastern and might be one of the first toss-up races to be called, and it could be a very early indicator of how things are going for both parties for November 8th and the days following. So beyond the toss-ups, there are 23 seats that lean to one party or to the other. We have 12 that lean to the Democrats and 11 that lean Republican. You can see the full list on our website, which is linked right below here. If you're looking for a guide to election night, what you should be watching on election night, check out our What to Watch For on Election Night playlist right here on our channel. We identify key races by poll closing times along with the key metrics that our race call team will be looking at to make the final calls. 
that's going to do it for this week. If you're enjoying these videos, please give it a like and then subscribe to our channel and make sure to sign up for notifications, the little bell button below, so that you get a notification when we post one of these looks at our model or our primary night preview video, which we will be having on November 8th, so make sure to tune in. Until next week, I'm Dr. Liberty Vittert, Professor of Data Science. Thank you so much for watching.